Ghana is one of the promising stories in Africa. We need good news out of Africa, and this is a historic election for Ghana. It's very competitive. Going into the 2008 election, neither major candidate had established a clear lead, and throughout Ghana, voters were enthusiastic. The Carter Center usually observes elections in nations undergoing major democratic transitions or emerging from conflict. Ghana was a special case, an emerging democracy facing a critical and very competitive election. Transferring power peacefully is the mark of an established democracy, and this would be Ghana's fifth successful election since military rule ended in 1992. What we're always looking for is the anomaly. Most elections are run pretty much free and fair, but in a very close election like this one, a very competitive election, the margin of victory may be a few, few thousand votes. Any tampering with a ballot box, any indication that people are being excluded, those exceptional changes which could determine the outcome of elections is of great interest to observers. Observers help ensure the integrity of the process. Several hundred international election observers and 4,000 local observers were deployed throughout the country, all of them operating according to the same set of principles developed jointly by the Carter Center, the UN Electoral Assistance Division, and the National Democratic Institute. Ghana doesn't grab headlines like crises in Sudan or Zimbabwe, but it's an important nation to watch as an example of stability in the region. Its economy is growing, yet most Ghanaians remain poor and excluded from new pockets of prosperity. Voter turnout in Ghana is more than 70 percent, and efficient and transparent casting and counting of ballots in 22,000 polling stations show a national commitment to make democracy work. We're about 10 minutes after the close of the polls here and they've just opened the ballot boxes and they're going to be counting the ballots after they sort them by parties. Observers unanimously concluded the election was credible, transparent, and generally free of intimidation or other threats. No democracy is ever perfect, and Ghana's has many flaws, but it has succeeded in creating conditions where political leaders believe they can win by constitutional means. In elections where the outcome is contested, legitimacy can be strengthened by independent observers. Their presence can deter fraud and violence and encourage acceptance of results. In its leading role in observing elections like this one, the Carter Center can make a difference.